What has happened, everybody? James Hancock here. I'm back to do a reaction video to the trailer for Cobra Kai Season 3 coming to Netflix in January. This show first launched on YouTube Red slash YouTube Premium. The first season, I think, was in 2018, followed by the second season in 2019. And I absolutely loved them and gave them very positive reviews at the time. And I noticed at the time that there were very few people talking about the show. But then when Netflix swooped in and bought the show and put Seasons 1 and 2 on their platform, it immediately started trending and kind of blew my mind just how popular it was. And suddenly, friends and family members who are not necessarily as invested in film and television, they started talking about Cobra Kai. And deservedly so, because this show should have been just an abomination, and instead it was like a thousand times better than it ever had any right to be. I mean, that first season in particular, I just laughed and laughed and laughed. I mean, seeing William Zabka as Johnny Lawrence, it's a, a character that requires limited range, but within that range, he just nails it. Like, I can't remember the exact line, but there's this great scene where one of his students says, oh, don't be mean to that person. He's on the spectrum. And Johnny was like, he's on the spectrum? Like, tell him to get off of it. Like, his complete and total unwillingness to buy into or understand any sort of terminology or new language or new words or new ideas from the last couple of years was just absolutely delightful. And in this loathsome era of hypersensitivity, when so many old franchises seem to be mismanaged or mishandled or defanged or declawed, it was just this incredible breath of fresh air seeing Cobra Kai just go for it and turning the villains into the heroes. Now, season two is a little bit different in the sense that it kind of became much more over the top, like it's showing all these signs of like metamorphosizing into this ridiculous like teen melodrama. And I'm still on board, but I think the writing was slightly stronger in the first season, or at least the humor was slightly stronger in the first season, but I'm totally invested in these characters. Season two peaked with that insane high school brawl where Miguel ended up in a coma. I can't wait to see what happens next. And apparently Netflix is equally excited because they already greenlit the show for season four. But all humor and action aside, what surprised me so far is that the show actually does have some genuine, heartfelt beats. I was eight years old when I saw Karate Kid in the theater. I was just in a state of awe. I even read the novelization of it for uh, for homework in third grade. We actually had like classroom discussions, discussions about Karate Kid. It was totally ridiculous. But I probably saw Karate Kid a million times on TV as a kid. Saw Karate Kid 2 in the theater. Saw Karate Kid 3 probably more times than I should have because Karate Kid 3 sucked. But I think the key takeaway for this show's success is that it plays just fine for people who were not alive back then. I know a lot of people in their teens now who like the show who probably haven't even seen the old movies even though they should definitely go back and watch the first Karate Kid. But it shows how if you want to resurrect an old franchise, it can't just be fan service kind of serving the expectations and the emotional needs of the original fans. you got to find a way to inject some electricity into it, give it that new car smell again, make it feel exciting. And I think they've absolutely 100% pulled it off. But I think I've probably rambled enough at this point. Let's go ahead and let this sucker rip right now. I thought I was doing the right thing. Johnny. But I failed you. That scene was... Truth is, you got soft, and we paid the price. You want Cobra Kai? It's yours. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. The whole reason because these kids got into trouble was because oh, of us. We can't let them suffer because of our issues. The only way to end this is by working together. So, what do you say? Cheer up, baby. Your enemies think they're the hero, and you're the villain. There is no good. Look at this freak. There is no bad, only weak, but strong. What are you, Tango and Cash? I <laughs> know Tango and Cash were narcotics detectives. Oh, I'm sorry. I love it. It's turning into like a buddy cops, movie. Right? I thought we were the good guys. We try to be. There's one thing I do know for sure. You can't run away from your problems. I might never be able to... Go ahead. Never. Can't. Those are just words. They're meaningless. I'm getting goosebumps. It's ridiculous. You're not a kid anymore. The world isn't just going to hand it to you. I'm hoping for a cameo by Elizabeth Shue. You want something you have to crawl across the floor. Use your damn teeth if you have to. Yeah, man. Be right here next to you. Because I'll always be your teacher. Oh, 
shit. It's all right, you felt like a champ. Mr. Miyagi taught me everything you knew. Let us find out. What makes the show fun is that they're completely emotionally invested where they're playing it straight, they're playing it sincere. It'd be very easy for everybody to kind of be winking at the camera, kind of saying like, oh, we know this is silly or we know this is totally ridiculous. We've made a show about freaking Cobra Kai. But because they treat it almost like like they're performing Hamlet, it makes it all work. It's a, it's a, it's a weird bouncing act that they found to do. Like, uh, Take a comedy like... Airplane. Airplane was completely absurd, but all the actors in it play it completely straight like they're in some sort of like riveting disaster movie. And the same holds true here. The kind of the spell of the show would be broken if at any point somebody kind of relaxed and didn't pretend like these were like the most important kind of, um, I guess, uh, struggles or dramas afoot in all of Los Angeles County. Because in the end, we're talking about a freaking karate school at a like a strip mall like they are not curing cancer they're not putting somebody on the moon and so the fact that the stakes are so small it's all the more important for the actors to have complete and total sincerity when playing these roles and i think that's the real trick as to why this show has been so popular and beloved so far so sign me up I'll be watching it day one when it comes out in January. Couldn't be more fired up. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to talk more about Karate Kid or Cobra Kai or whatever, hunt me down on Twitter at Colbrex. But I hope you enjoyed this reaction and review. Please consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, all the good stuff. But more importantly, as always, onwards and upwards.